All right, what is going on, everyone? This is Dalton or Rudy Patootie. I am mostly making this video for the people in the Discord for the Pokemon League. I wanted to give you guys a tutorial today, just in case. I'm sure you guys probably already know how to like do everything, but for the people who aren't 100% sure, I don't want you to feel afraid to ask questions because we are labeling this league as a beginner's league. So I wanted to make everything abundantly clear. So first, we're gonna go over the rules. We're just doing the basic VGC 2v2 rules, which is basically if you go to the 2v2 ranked mode on, like online in um, in the game itself. So those are the rules we're going off with, which is basically you bring six Pokemon to your game, like in your party or whatever on your team. You bring six, and then you two, you and your opponent match up together with your six Pokemon, and then you can only pick four after you see your team and you see their team. So you bring six, you pick four. And you have a 2v2 battle. It's going to be a best of one. And we're going to be doing it. Each person, as of right now, we have 10 players as I'm making this video. I'm making it on Tuesday at 10 o'clock at night. So right now, we have 10 players. And if we continue like this, we're going to make it so it's one match a week. And then every week, one to two people will just get um, like a bye week, like just a pass by. If we can get up to 16 players, though, then we're going to make it. Uh, it's going to be two matches a week. So basically what you're going to do is this Saturday. So right now, like I said, as I'm recording this, it's the 26th. So this Saturday, the 30th, the day after Black Friday, by noon, or actually by the morning, I want to have anyone that's going to join it needs to be finalized. So if you're watching this video and you're not part of it, it's still time to join. In the description below is the link to the Discord. Just go in there and ask to be part of it, and you're in. It's that simple. We're all just trying to learn here. Uh, but Saturday by noon, I'm going to have everything finalized, and I'm going to, I already found uh, the website that we're going to use to run our league off of, and I'm going to make everyone, I'm just going to put your name as your team, unless, yeah, for this time we're just going to make everyone's name their team. If we do ones in the future, I'll let everyone make, make funny names or whatever they want to. Um, but this time we're just going to use your name, and you're going to get your first match this saturday on the 30th and that match has to be done by one week from then so De december 7th that has to be done so within between november 30th and december 7th which is one week it is your responsibility to contact your opponent and figure out what times like work best for you two and then pick the time that works best and then play your match your matches have to be reported by friday night so if your match isn't reported by friday to the 6th then you would just both get de like disqualified because saturday morning i'm gonna wake up i'm gonna check the leagues and i'm gonna update it another good thing is the way we're doing the system is this saturday on the 30th when you get your first set of matches you're actually going to get all of your matches all at once because the website i'm using makes the whole Makes the whole list right away, and I'm gonna make it so you guys can view the lit, like view the actual matches when I get it done. I can't make it yet because I don't know how many more people are gonna possibly join. So you guys are gonna be able to see who you're playing each week. Maybe if you want to start talking to each other and strategizing, be like, hey, I know you've played against so and so. What uh, what's a good strategy going in? Whatever you guys want to do. Basically, we're trying to com uh, create a community here. But what I'm doing right now is here in a second, I'm going to be joined by ROE Tengu or Joe. And him and I are going to be just, for, this is for the super beginners. So if you're not a super beginner, at this point, you can leave the video. That's all you guys need to know. Just join the Discord down below and all updates will be posted there. Um, but if you're a super beginner and you need help learning how to actually play your match, we're going to get into that right now with Joe and I. All right, guys, so I'm right here with Joe. Joe, hello. Say say hello, Tengu. Hey, what's up, guys? All right, so like I said, this is for the super beginners. We're going to go over how to join each other. So at this point, we would have communicated to each other that we're both available on Tuesday at 10 o'clock. Because like I said, you have a whole week to get with your opponent. It's your responsibility. I'm going to say this one more time. I can't show this enough. It is your responsibility to contact your opponent and schedule when you guys are going to play. You have a whole week to play one match. It's You can do that. I'm sure of it. Just don't get grounded if you're a child. <laughs> but <laughs> So at this point, Joe and I, we're ready to go. 
And in the Discord, I've made it so there are matches. If you would like to talk to your opponent, or maybe talk to a friend while you're playing. But you definitely don't have to do that. As a matter of fact, I would recommend not talking to your opponent. Maybe talk to him like while you're setting up. But during the match, I would not recommend talking to your opponent. So what Joe and I are both going to do right here is you hit Y. Make sure, obviously, you're connected to the internet. And you go want to go to Link Battle. And then you can see there's the plus, or it says plus sign link code. So I'm going to set the link code for Joe and I right now to be 4753. And then you're going to select Double Battle. And it's going to start searching. Yeah, so it is important to make sure that you do communicate with your opponent to get the battle set up. But, you know, don't be chit-chatting or anything like that. I wouldn't um, recommend chit-chatting gets... during the match, yeah. Yeah, because you don't want to give away any strategies or anything, you know. Or accidentally lie to your friends <laughs> about <laughs> having right. your moveset. <laughs> yeah, so I have the link code put in, which is for our match here. It's 4753. I've entered that in. So now I'm going to click double battle on my screen, too, because we've agreed to do double battle. Yeah. Are you connected also, to the internet, Joe? You know what? Yeah, don't make a beginner mistake like me and forget to connect to the internet. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm at link battle, hitting that again because I made that little mistake there. That's okay. And it was, uh, what was it again? One more time. Four, seven, Four, seven. five, three. Five, three. Yep. Okay. Double battle. Searching for another trainer. Oh, I see you searching now. Yep. So now we're both connected to the internet, both searching. There we go. All right. So now this, it's going to ask you, do you want to set the rules or do you want your opponents to set the rules? This is where like you two can just sit and communicate on whatever one. But basically, you're going to do just the double double rules. So I'm going to set it up here. So right here we have double battle normal rules, double battle battle tower rules, and double battle no restrictions. I always do normal rules because you want to actually bring the six Pokemon. But let, once again, you're only going to select four of them. I don't know if battle tower does that or not. I'm just, I always do it the normal rules way. So I sent that to Joe, and now Joe has to approve it or whatever. And now we're okay. going to do participating team. So you click that, and then here's your, you can either use your party team, which in this league you have to use your party team. You can't use the rental teams. For this video's sakes, I'm going to use the rental team. Just because, like, my party team is not my competitive team. Yeah, and I am going to use a party team as well, though, um, instead of a rental team. Now, my Pokemon don't have any hold items. Just as a note, they're not trained up or anything. This is just this is for just example. A, yeah, this is purely for example. And uh, another thing to note is I believe that, uh, just in case, you know, anyone's, like, super beginner here, um, you cannot have two of the same Pokemon on your team. You also cannot have two of the same held item, if I recall correctly. Yep, and you cannot, no legendaries, which I've already made that very clear in the Discord. I'm just going to say it one more time, no legendaries, which includes Mew. Alright, so this is the script I'm talking about. So it says 0 out of 6. You are not going to select 6 Pokemon. You're only going to select 4. So just select your 4. And if you, you can see in the bottom right here, if you hit X, you can check your opponent's team as you're doing this. But you're going to select your 4 Pokemon. And after you select your 4 then you are going to hit done and now i'm just standing by while he selects his four and that's it now you're going to do your match like i said it's a best of one and when your match is over i would recommend either taking a picture on your phone or taking a screenshot or whatever you got to do for proof but both players winner and loser needs to report in the discord if you win or loss to me just put it in the discord in the pokemon league chat and if there's any kind of a dispute, like if you both claim that you won, one of you is clearly lying, but there's no way for me to ever know that unless you have proof. So always take pictures or video. And that's going to do it for this video. I'm just going to cut this battle because, like I said, Joe and I were just we're not actually battling. This is for examples only. But regardless, you guys enjoy the league. And we're going to continue doing this. This is a beginner league for the players. It's also a beginner league for us running it. So if there's any improvements to be made, we'll be making them. There's Dynamaxing, no Gigantamaxing. I've already also made that really clear, but I just want to make it clear again. You can Dynamax, but you cannot Gigantamax.